Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to our another round of stories. Okay guys, today's story is about families. Guys, families, they love us but there's times where things can go a little bit sour. Yaqub alayhi salam was a prophet and he had family problems. His sons turned against their stepbrother Yusuf alayhi salam. So even in the best of households, Things can go wrong, but guys, it's always better to stay together. When it comes to the crunch, no one's really going to care as much as your family are. In life, you'll have friends, and they say you can pick your friends, not your family. A lot of friends are just there for the good times. They're not there to pick the pieces up when it goes wrong. So staying united in Islam, families are very important, guys. We're now in lockdown, there's been a lot of issues and problems you know between family and family members so to stay united to understand each other because it's getting cold right now it's december <laughs> this story is quite befitting anyhow this story is about porcupines in the uk we don't see porcupines the closest we see are hedgehogs but in other countries they have porcupines and they're like the 2.0 they're an upgraded version of hedgehogs and their quills which are like spikes quite sharp so it was a really cold winter and many animals died because of the cold the porcupines realizing the situation decided to group together to keep warm that's pretty clever this way they covered and protected themselves but the quills of each one wounded their closest companions. The quills are sharp. If they're all sleeping next to each other, it won't take much to hurt somebody. So they decided to distance themselves one from the other and they began to die alone, frozen. So they had to make a choice. Either accept the quills of their companions or disappear from the earth. Wisely, they decided to go back to being together. They learned to live with the little wounds caused by the close relationship with their companions in order to receive the warmth and heat that came from the others. This way they were able to survive. So guys, it's better to struggle with warm pricks than it is to be frozen in the solitude. And you know guys, the best group isn't really the one that brings together perfect people. But when each individual learns to live with the imperfections of others and can admire the other person's good qualities, that's what you call living together. We've got to sometimes overlook things. Look at the bigger picture, guys. Staying united is more important. But the problem when you nitpick, it starts small and it becomes huge. How many times have we seen disputes in families over something small and it's just snowballed out of control and it's caused such hatred and feuds families haven't spoken to each other for years tens of years now nah, guys stay together Allah will reward you through your patience and because of your forbearance and because of your overlooking issues you'll get the reward of uniting everyone because of your good intention so guys, the tongue is dangerous. It can make or break things. Use it to unite people, isn't it, guys? Use it to create love between people. Don't use it as a sword that cuts through people's hearts. But use it, guys, as a joiner of hearts. That doesn't mean we live in suffering, guys. The Prophet of Allah told us not to oppress and not to be oppressed. It doesn't mean that if someone's abusive but we have to suffer that's not the case but in normal family life guys yeah there's always going to be bumps there's always going to be clashes you put the pots and pans together there's going to be a clash it does happen but it's how do we recover from that does that end every relationship and we never speak to each other or do we realize that you know what we need to work on this because if something so small can derail us from being united what's gonna happen when big problems come so let us become the means guys of pulling people together so they say that beauty attracts the heart but personality captures the heart 
And that's what we need to do. Develop ourselves in it, guys. Okay, on to the next story, guys. Stay tuned, stay ready, get subscribed and notified. Plenty more to come, inshallah. <laughs>